Hello everyone, welcome back. And today we will talk about the anatomy of abductor pollicis longus muscle. So the abductor pollicis longus is this long fusiform type of skeletal muscle that is found in the posterior or extensor compartment of forearm. And it is one of the deep muscles of the posterior compartment of forearm. So it lies deep to the superficial muscles of extensor compartment of forearm. So this muscle has got its origin from the posterior aspects of shafts of radius and ulna. And the fibers of this muscle travel down in furolaterally over the dorsal aspect of forearm and just superior to the wrist, these fibers give rise to a muscle tendon which crosses the wrist joint. And after crossing the wrist joint, this muscle tendon inserts onto the lateral aspect of base of first metacarpal bone, as you can see. Now let's move on to the actions performed by this muscle. So this muscle produces two important movements at the carpometacarpal joint. So the first movement that this muscle produces is very much clear from the name of this muscle, the abductor pollicis. So the word abductor simply means that this muscle is an abductor and the word pollicis is for the thumb. So simply this muscle abducts the thumb at the carpometacarpal joint. And the second movement that this muscle produces is the extension of the thumb at the carpometacarpal joint. Now lastly, Let's talk about the nerve supply of this muscle. So just like the other posterior muscles of forearm, the abductor pollicis longus muscle has got its innervation from the deep branch of radial nerve. So this is the radial nerve which gives off this branch called the deep branch of radial nerve which supplies almost all the posterior muscles of forearm. While these are the muscular branches to the abductor pollicis longus muscle. While the radial nerve itself arises from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus. And the nerve roots involved in supplying the abductor pollicis longus muscle are the anterior rami of 7th and 8th cervical spinal nerves. So that's all about the anatomy of abductor pollicis longus muscle. If you have any confusion in what we studied, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much.